everybody, my name is Spamos. Welcome back to Stormworks. Coming up tonight, I see boats and water in your future. And so, without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome to the game and welcome to the Aeronaut Airship. I've had this for quite some time. We're finally jumping into it. What we have here is an airship that's also an aircraft carrier that is also massive and has interiors and so much to do. You worried about tsunamis or megalodons taking your tower? Don't be worried anymore. The air ship thing has guns. Don't think they actually work, but they look rather menacing. Menacing enough to give those nasty tsunamis away. Shoo! I mean, look at that bad boy. It looks like something out of Battlestar Galactica. Now, if you want to give this a go yourself, there's a link as always down below. Now, how's it about we go aboard, have a look around, take it for a fly, all of that jazz, see what we can do. Oh no, it's so big! It barely fits inside my dock. Right, so the thing spawns with its own kind of landing platformy thing that sits nice and snug inside the large Creative Islands dock. And here, we've got the capsule thing, it's where you kind of pilot it from, I assume. Bam, bam. Oh, I hope it says me. Permission to come inside. Very cozy. Well, I believe this is actually called the gondola. Oh, clever sausage activates. Oh, sat at the cockpit on your bottom left. You got yourself light switches. An awful lot of light switches. In the middle, got your main controls. On the right, you got autopilot, just in case. Now, come on, my angry Frenchman. Let's do this. Mr. Gibbs, ignition. Oh, oh, fire. Engines have started, thrusters have started, we're melting the deck. Is it about to take off or have I got to push more buttons? The stern is rising, the bow not... Oh, 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 what is it doing? It's flopping and dropping the beats. It sounds like a steam train. Oh, okay, we're alive. Oh, we've come to a hover. And by hover, I mean we're dropping down because that cradle is going up. We've gone full Hindenburg already and I've just started. Could we not and say we did? Oh, here we go. I've worked out the buttons. Things are seeming okay. We're going up. Up is good. That's where I want to be. Nothing to crash into when you go up. The crosswinds are causing some stability issues. I'm trying to kind of balance them out a bit, but it's not having a nice time. Although, that looks pretty awesome from below. My autopilot power seems to have calmed down. Thank you, autopilot. Right, let's go for an explore. So at the back, we've got a ladder. Oh, climbing up inside. Look at this. Oh, damn, that's amazing. Looking forwards, we've got the cafeteria with a big old G spinning in the middle. Don't know what that represents, but it looks nice. Cafeteria, of course, comes with tables and chairs. Food already laid out. Lovely little windows looking out into the sky. It's a beautiful place. In the middle, we've got some self-service going on. A little too much green, if you're asking me. And across on the other side, we've got some fake plants, or maybe they're lamps. Water bottle on the table. Very nicely decorated. And all the way at the back of the room, we've got the kitchen, everybody. we got a cook. Sink, bridge, hot sand pans, and yeah, a kitchen. <laughs> so this is the view you're going to get. You're sat down, you're nomming away at your dinner, you're looking well, aft, got the crew section back there, and you just glance to your right. Oh, lovely window. Oh, what a beautiful day. Okay, so returning to where we first climbed up, we do have some stairwells going up. We'll check that out in a second. Now flanking both port and starboard, we've got escape pods. Dare I touch this button? Doesn't work. Well, that's great. Got some seating behind them. Oh, what are these? I'm not gonna touch them yet. And located in the floor, we've got access to a chair. Oh, this is the turret gun. That's amazing. Oh, look at this. I can go full Millennium Falcon here and do 360 swivel spins. <coughs> I would like to go back inside, please. Uh, so do that. Well, that was cool. I like that. Uh-oh. Right, so pushing on aft even further into the crew area, we have got cabins. It's a bit of a snug fit, but at the same time, it's really cozy. You got a bed, chair, decorating, clothing, a window. This might be the best cabin I've ever seen. I mean, that's epic. Imagine that's like waking up. You lift your head slightly up, you glance to your side. Oh, look, I can see the sky. That's pretty cool. Look at my angry Frenchman. He's loving life. Okay, so pushing aft even further. I don't know what they are. Let's not ask questions. Okay, we have an elevator. Oh, God, no! Don't put me here! Why are you still going? It's still going down. 10 out of 10 places I don't want to be hanging underneath an airship in a small elevator car that I don't trust. So I don't know how far this is going to go. So let us go back up. Although that's a pretty awesome view of the underbelly of the airship. Let me out. Door. Door. 
There's no door switch on this. Right, it wasn't easy. I escaped. Let's not ask questions. Close that door. Never go back in there again. Right, so what's next? Oh, there's a thing here. Right. Oh, we got a flappy flap. Look at that flap go. Oh, I'm not even going to step on it. That's a slide. That's how you slip to your death. It's a trap. Well, let's close that door up. I just feel a bit safer. Thank you. Great. Okay, taking this up to the next level. Quite literally. Oh, where am I? Okay, we've got some magnets there. We've got what I think is a lift there. And buttons here. Oh, it's coming down. I bloody love this. I love this kind of idea of like, we've got things moving inside of things moving. So the airship is flying. It's doing its business. Meanwhile, inside of it, we've got moving parts that are like, working perfectly. There's no kind of jittering or the game freaking out because of physics. Very clever. And that plane is a snug fit. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. It's going sideways. We're fine, we're fine. I fixed it. I'm amazing. This is ridiculous. You will die. Lifting up like this, that wind chill and wind speed, rather, is going to hit you like a hurricane. You're just going to go, ah, fly off. But that is rather awesome. I I tip my hat to the ingenuity of this build. Yeah, I'm not going to stand on that grill. Well, I will. But, I mean, I wouldn't in real life. No. Forget this. Right, well, that's the airship, everybody. I wish I knew how the uh, escape pods would work. Right, let's get the aircraft up. Let's go for a flight and try to land on top and survive. Well, I found my way into the escape pods. I couldn't get the door open, but there was a seat behind it. And I just sat down in the seat. And now I'm stuck inside. The door won't open. None of these buttons want to work. There's an are you sure button. I don't even know if that's going to work. Let's push it. If, yeah, see? No, I am all of the stuck in here. Well, fantastic. Well, this is my life now. I am the escape pod hobbit. But I had to respawn, so I'm inside a plane, and I'm trying to get my way back to the, uh, the thing that's up there. Um, not the greatest of methods. I should have got a helicopter, really, but you know what? I'm here now. That's all. Oh, that's going real fast. Oh, God. Okay, no, I'm, I'm, I've arrived. I've arrived. We're dancing. It's dancing queen. Oh, no. Okay, spin. Recover. Um, did I just screw myself over? I'm going way too fast for it. Way too fast for it. Okay, I think I'm lined up. I think I can do this. Right. Altitude and speed and all that is set. Our oh, plates are open. Why are you not opening? I need this door to open. I need this door to open. I'm hanging onto the door on the outside of the aircraft. Oh god, oh god, please work. No, not a chance. Not a chance. Not happening. Now I've lost my aircraft and my airship. Okay, I'm back on board. Another airship. It was easier to respawn the new one. Okay, what were we gonna do? Well, we're gonna try and land on top. Right, airplane, how do you work? Right, so we've got a biplane. I've got throttle, magnets, and an ignition switch. Now let's give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? Now, I think I should throttle up before I take off the magnets. Okay, get full speed. Here we go. Moment of truth. Release the brakes. Oh, God. Okay, we're off already. And we're off, everybody. Right, let's not get too far away or go too fast because I want to land. The mission is to land. I can't see where it's gone. <laughs> I've lost it already. There it is. I'm coming for you. Oh, I have plans. Why are my flaps flapping like that? Weird. Okay. I'm out of fuel. Are you kidding me? I've only been up literally one minute. One bleeding minute. Oh, great. Fall out the sky, why don't you? Right, wet landing for you, sunshine. Where do you want to go? Because it's one place. Destination sploosh. Hello, Pickle. I'm back. I've lost the airplane, but I've given you an helicopter. Much better. And on the launch pads. Oh, 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 oh. And down. Amazing landing. Okay, well, thank you for everything, helicopter. Love your face. I guess that's why the aircraft had so little fuel inside of it. It's so compact. It kind of like just can't hold much weight or fuel or blah, blah, blah. But the only thing I want to do now is test out what an airship does when it hits water. So we're going to go for a swim and maybe a tsunami if it gets here on time. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Right, hover just above the water. Let's try control first. Gently does it. There we go. Touchdown. The wheels are in. Gondola. Yep. That's looking just fine. We're going to be just okay. There you go. It's like we're a boat again. Yeah. Water's coming in sight. We're going too low down. Oh, no. 
Here comes everybody's favorite family friendly tsunami. Hello! What's gonna happen? Place your bets. And it begins. It is already dwarfing and dominating the airship. Oh, the engine has just popped. Oh no. Turns out thrusters don't like water inside and makes fire starts. I think we're riding the wave up or we're just below the surface. I don't know, but here's the peak. There's Arnie Pie in the sky. And there we go. Going full Titanic, Hindenburg, cross hybrid. Who knows? We're flying again. We're sinking again. We're floating, maybe. Yeah, we're kind of floating. Oh, engines are back on again. Tremendous news. As the tsunami rolls away, water slowly floods inside the airship. You know what? Actually, I think we might. We might actually just roll upside down and then float. That would be amazing if that was the case. Yeah, we're now floating as a boat. Everything's not terrible after all. I can even open the doors. Look. It's lovely. Oh, the gun. Still usable. Kind of. But how about that? Multi-purpose or what? Fly around as an airship. Turn it upside down. Makes a fantastic kind of submarine, maybe? Check out below decks. Oof. Okay. Yeah, it's... it's... Oh, what? Well, now the escape pods work? No. Just gravity helped the door open, I guess. But the cafeteria is still usable. Well, that's an episode right about there. This has been Storm playing with the aeronautic airship you thingy thing. Did you enjoy yourself? I really hope you did. If you did, leave me a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I want to hear them. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter and tell me what I should have done with this airship. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.